Haley, can you just talk about coming off of regionals and you know what you came back here and worked on, knowing that you know the final round wasn't exactly what you guys wanted, but probably taught you some things to get you ready for regionals. What you need to work on so that you can play your best this week. Um, I think that we learned this week for sure that we're a strong finishing team. Um, we played the back nine really, really well, and even though we got off to a rough start and it wasn't how we wanted, um, we all came off finishing really strong, and we knew exactly what each of us had to work on. Um, me specifically, I need to work on my wedges, so I've been working on my wedges nonstop since we've been here. Um, so it, I think we've just been really working on what we're supposed to. Um, Zoe's been working on putting, and. Um, Jenny's working on hitting her driver, so I think we're all just kind of working on what we need to work on, and we're feeling pretty strong about it. So, Can you talk about the confidence that you take into going back uh, to Greyhawk again. Um, it's cool that we've played there. We've played well there, um, and in my opinion, we're all playing better. So I'm really excited to kind of see what we can do this year with um, just how much better we're playing and how much. Each of us have grown individually, so I think it'll be fun to see what we can do and put together as a team. Do y'all approach, maybe approach not the right word, but coming into a situation where it's not just like top half, you kind of you need to be like top quarter, yeah. uh, and, and you know against teams that have all made a regional cut. Just things you talk about in terms of goals setting early and toward to be in that position. Um, I think for us. We just kind of want to go out there and do our job every day. Um, when it comes to making the cut, of course you want to, but if we want to make it, you know, as far as we can, we want to win the tournament. We want to win. We want to be number one seed. We want, you know, have the best kind of seeding when it comes to match play. And um, but I mean, goal one is to make uh, make both cuts. You know, you want to make the top 15, but um, to have a chance to win, I think you need to be, you know, a little bit higher than that. So we're going to go in and try to win and just play our best. So. To that end, uh, you have the, the two formats with the stroke play, match play. Uh, how, how do you approach the, is there a different approach to the two? What's more fun? What's kind of the, the thoughts on the, the two different formats? I mean, stroke play is, you know, more traditional, but kind of what we do all the time. But I think we do great in match play because we, you can hear us across the course yelling at each other. Um, we love each other. It's, it's more of a team aspect. I don't know. It's like, you know, it depends on your team. And. So I think that's just the more fun for us, and I know we're going to do really well if we get into that. So that's kind of the goal for us. Do, do you is your game is your strategy change at all between the two formats? Not really. Um, but you know, you're playing against your opponent instead of the golf course, but it needs to stay the same because we're good players anyways. We play well like during stroke play, so why change it up? Um, there's a couple holes that we you know we might go for or be a little bit more aggressive. You know, if you're if you're opponent obviously makes a hole in one or something, you know, you got to try to go for it. So it'll just kind of depend on um, how they do. And if it's going well, we're going to keep it going, just keep playing our game. So. Hey, can you talk about, I know that the final round, the, the front nine was just tough for you. <laughs> but you really, I mean, I think you did 10 strokes better on the back. It did. I mean, you yeah. know, but just talk about, I guess, the mentality that, that you have to have to just, you know, Leave the last hole behind and try to put your best foot forward. Um, that morning I started and it was kind of rough. It was just kind of like no, nothing was going my way the first few holes. And um, through six holes, I was six over. And I was like, you know, if you're going to shoot 90, you better do it in style. I'm not, you better, like, we're going for it, right? So I told my mom on the back nine, I was like, it's like a 60 or 90 day. Like, this is a 60 or 99. We're, we're going to go as low as we can on the back nine. And I told her, I said, I really want to shoot 29 and shoot even. And so through, I want to say I was four under through 17 on, or through the, those eight holes. And I really tried to birdie the last hole. That's why I bogeyed it. Um, <laughs> but I was like, you know what, We're, we went for it. And I did everything that I could. Um, I think it's just kind of playing for them. And I, I didn't know where we were, where we stood. But I wanted us to still have a chance to win or be you know, in the top seed that we could. So. Yeah, it was just kind of a little comeback there. I was like, this is it, you know, all or nothing, so. <laughs> I know you talked about, you know, in match play, like, God forbid your opponent hits a home one or something. I know y'all had some bombs last week. Yeah. Time. Expect, like, <laughs> three or four from the fairway. Oh, yeah, that's, we're, we're expecting Blanca to have at least another home one. She had two <laughs> last year at Nationals. Um, so we're expecting her to have one. Um, lots of putts being made. Um, yeah, I'm expecting a lot of, hole, yeah, hole outs from the fairway. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. There's a couple holes we can drive on the green, so I'm expecting some uh, hole-in-ones and par fours, and yeah, we're doing it all. <laughs>